I've received a lot of comments from people who bought a Tandrum wallet saying that the security seals on their box were torn upon arrival, and as a result, they are hesitant to use their wallet. I even experienced the same thing myself. Fortunately, Tandrum has provided instructions on verifying the authenticity of the cards you receive. I recommend you familiarize yourself with these guidelines. To be clear, when you receive your Tandrum wallet, the cards arrive without a private key on them. It's only when you set up your cards using the official Tandrum app that a unique private key is generated for your cards. The good thing about Tangem is that their cards are monolithic, meaning the chip is built into the card and cannot be taken out. It's designed this way to protect the chip and its information, so it's pretty much impossible to modify a Tangem card. Tangem even goes as far as saying you could purchase Tangem wallets on the street and still be able to verify that the card is safe to use. Now, I wouldn't personally recommend that for a number of reasons, but nonetheless, it is reassuring. When you set up your Tangem wallet, the app verifies that each card is authentic and has not been tampered with. The most important thing to do is ensure that you've installed the official Tangem app and that it prompts you to create a new wallet. Tangem has acknowledged that packaging errors really do happen, but when they do happen, you might receive a card that wasn't even intended for the public. There are three types of cards that you could accidentally receive. Production cards, testnet cards, or developer cards, none of which should be used to store your crypto. If you do happen to receive one of these cards, again, this very rarely happens. I have never seen it myself, but if you were to receive one of these cards, the Tangem app would display a pop-up notification letting you know that it is a production card or a counterfeit. If you do happen to receive one of these production cards, Tangem will replace it for you, of course, at no extra cost. Besides using the Tangem app to authenticate your cards, there are some other details you can check to ensure you received legit Tangem cards. First, you can weigh each card. The first gen Tangem wallet one card weighs five grams, while the new 2.0 Tangem card weighs six grams. Next, you can check that you received everything in the box that comes with legit Tangem cards. The box should include two or three cards, depending on what you ordered, a getting started leaflet, and a specification sheet. Again, if you received a box with broken seals, like I did, you don't have to worry. It doesn't constitute a security breach, and Tangem is working on getting better seals so that this does not happen with future shipments. And third, you can check the label on the Tangem box and match it up with the example label on the Tangem website. I'll leave a link to that specific label in the description that you can check out. The best way to ensure that you receive a authentic Tangem wallet is to order it directly from Tangem's official website. I will leave a link to their official website in the description, and if you use that link, you will also get 10% off your order. As an extra safety precaution, you can also reset all of your cards to factory settings. First, you have to create your wallet, back up your cards, and then you will be able to reset your cards. That way you know your card is brand Brand new and your private key has never been used by anyone else. You can reset each card by going to settings in the Tangem app, tap card settings, scan your card, and tap reset to factory settings. This will completely delete the wallet from each card you scan so you will never be able to access it again and you will start with a fresh private key. If you think you might have received a counterfeit Tangem card or there's just an issue with your card, it's best to reach out to Tangem immediately. That way they can help you and ensure that it doesn't affect anyone else. I'll drop a link to their help page in the description if you do have any questions or problems with your Tangem cards. Also, I answer 25 common questions about the Tangem wallet in this next video, so definitely make sure to check that out, and I'll see you next time.